Hi, this is Gary with Mac Modes Now. On today's episode, let's look at keyboard shortcuts on the Mac as opposed to Windows. So if you're coming from a Windows environment, you may notice that there are a few things different about using the Mac having to do with keyboard shortcuts. Let's go ahead and take a look. So here's a typical Mac keyboard that you may get with a new Mac now. Uh, you'll notice that one of the main differences between Windows and Mac keyboards is these special keys here at the bottom uh, next to the space bar on either side. Uh, the primary one on a Mac is the command key and you also have a control key. Now in Windows the primary key that you would use for functions is control. That's not the same as this key here. What maps directly is the command key. So for instance in Windows if you would want to copy some text you would do control C. On a Mac you wouldn't do control C you would do command C. You can easily see this uh, but if you go up to uh, some of the menus here you could see uh, cut, copy, and paste and you could see the shortcuts here listed so you can kind of refresh your memory of what the shortcuts are. And you notice that little symbol there next to the letter. That's the same symbol that you may find on your keyboard. It means command. So cut is command X, copy is Command C, and paste is Command V rather than Control on Windows. Now, more direct mapping from Windows to Mac is the Option key or Alt key. Matter of fact, you can even see in the Option key on a Mac it even says Alt at the top now. Uh, so anything you did with the Alt key most likely works with the Option key on the Mac. There's no uh, second key like the confusing Control key there. Then. If you look in the keyboard shortcuts, like say you want to go uh, here, you have Hide Finder, uh, Hide the Currently Running App is Command H, and this is the symbol here for Option, and it's uh, Option Command H to hide others. So if you ever see that symbol anywhere, uh, you know that that means uh, it's an Option key shortcut. Another difference is the Delete key. The Delete key on the Mac is the same as the Backspace key you find in the same position on Windows keyboard, just it has a different name. Matter of fact, matter of fact some older uh, Mac keyboards actually did call it the backspace key. So here we are looking at a finder window and we have a file selected. Now there are a lot of differences between how you handle files uh, between Mac and Windows. One of the things that's interesting is in order to rename an item I know that there's uh, F2 is the key you usually do it in Windows. On Mac you simply have the file selected and you hit the return key and you can see instantly selects there and I could uh, type whatever I want there and uh, and I can move the cursor around, select all, and rename that way. So it's just hitting the enter key with the file selected. To open a file, you double click it, of course. Uh, to get information on a file, you do Command and I. And you can see the shortcuts, for instance, in the file menu here, Get Info is Command I right there. Now, to make a copy of a file, uh, in Windows you can control and drag. Uh, here you would actually option and drag. So option and drag, you can see a little plus symbol saying it's going to be a copy and I can copy it over there like that. So once I'm running an app here, to switch between apps, instead of using control and tab, you would use command and tab and you can see the application switcher here. It's kind of similar to Windows. Uh, and you can go between them all and select the one that you want. Now to quit an app on the Mac, you can go and find that under the menu item for the name of the application. It's Command Q. So instead of Alt F4 uh, as in old fashioned Windows that you would do, just do Command Q and it quits. Now, of course, old Macs had only one mouse button. This is no longer true. The trackpads and the magic mouse and there's multiple buttons on any new Mac that you get. So you can use them like Windows by uh, using the second click, say for instance I'm going to use two fingers to click on my trackpad here and it opens up the context menu. Uh, if you have a magic mouse you would click on the right side uh, instead of the left side to bring that up. But uh, back when there was one button mouse the way to do it was use the control key. So this is what you actually use the control key for as opposed to the command key. Control and a single click will open up the context menu. That it works in the finder, it works in different applications all over the place. Brings up the menu of whatever it is you can do with the item that you have selected. So it's still very handy. I still actually use control and click more than I actually use a two finger click on a trackpad or a right click on a magic mouse. Now, of course, any Windows user is used to the Control Alt Delete to quit an application. And on Mac, you've got a similar thing, but it's a complete set, different set of keys. It's Command Option and Escape. Command and Option and Escape brings up the Force Quit Applications window here. Lists all the currently running applications. Uh, you can select one 
And then, uh, for instance, this one here would say force quit. For something like the Finder itself, it would actually say relaunch because you don't want to have your system running without the Finder running at all. Um, so that's how you do Control Delete on a Mac. So there's a look at some of the most common mappings between Windows keyboard shortcuts and Mac keyboard shortcuts. Now, different applications have different uh, changes between them, the Mac Windows versions, different types of applications like Internet Explorer as opposed to Safari. So I'm sure you have your favorites. Uh, leave them as comments to this video at MacMost.com. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.